Dear students, good afternoon, near evening. The master singing, show you what is hearing, and I'm continuing with the topics concerned to performance appraisal. And this is compensation management. We are very a big part of compensation management. Actually, what earlier we discussed that was for the conceptual development regarding the course. But what we are now discussing, this is very technical and realistic. Performance appraisal is a very important thing and right way it should be assessed and appraised. Otherwise, outcome will be not effective for decision making. Some components are there. Some parameters are there which may affect regarding performance appraisal. As a whole, decision maker would suffer. Accordingly, some points I like to discuss, that is the appraising. The person engaged in appraising, I mean the appraising, his quality, his age, his sex, his uh, academic qualification, experience, expertise, all these things are very much important. So when he is collecting and procuring uh, information with the help of questionnaire, then he or she may be influenced. So, that is the very important thing. Next point is the capacity to prepare planning. Planning is also very technical and important thing. Right planning is very much concerned and connected to the to attainment the vision goals and objectives of the organization. When planning is in the right form, right approach is following, developing a plan, then that will be effective. Implementing plan also. During the implementation hour, then there is a question of controlling, where there is also planning. In that case, the person responsible for developing a plan, chalk out a plan, he or she should have that clarity. Expertise knowledge, so that he or she will be able to develop a plan, to chalk out a plan. He, she or he need to know the strengths of planning, tactics of developing a plan, chalk out a plan and how materials, information, how materials, informations, facts, documents are to be procured and collected. That is to be asserting when the plan is someone is authentic, right one and positive one. Then, effective appraisal. Personality, values, norms, philosophy, ideology, all these things. I mean the person, he or she would not be influenced and, or he or she might not accept the influence from external pressure 
or an emotional issue. That man should be confirmed, responsible one, ideologically strong enough. Then the next point is the organizational elements. Administration, organizational affairs, organization, reorganization, all these things, how far will be influenced. The person responsible, he should try to avoid his level best to overcome this sort of illegal influence. I mean, he should, he or she should be facts based. Right facts, right materials, right informations, documents, these things. He has to evaluate in the right way and right manner. <coughs> Deviation should not be appreciated. Then, developing subordination. Manager must Hold the concept, keeping the view, yes, what he is doing. His concept should to afford the skill and efficiency of the workforce or his subordinates. His appraising is, should be in such a manner so that the workers, employees or the personnel will understand themselves about in the right way, right manner. And basing upon his focusing upon some individual one, he or she should clearly understand his weakness, strength, and opportunities. Then, ability to take decision. Decision making is not simply a mere academic issue. Yes, academic side by side practical matters. At the same time, decision makers, to some extent, self style in nature. Any critical situation, critical moment, or better situation, better moment, that man is confirmed by character. His decision making just always in search of the right path. He or she likes the right track movement. Emotional issues, they just need to avoid. Rather, fact oriented, material oriented, design oriented, continuation oriented, where technology, atmosphere, all these things are surrounded. That is the thing. He should have to take decision in a confirmed manner, whatever the situation prevailing. Like a general in the war, like a captain of a ship. That's the thing. So, that is very much important for the decision maker. Sometimes some people may think the academic solution is the right solution. Sometimes some may have only the experience is the right solution. No, these are the major element components for decision making. These things are the major element. Other than these elements, some things are there. Some things are there which is something different person to person which varies. Natural and specialization is stuff from my point of view, like to say, it's a natural specialization. Two plus two, four. But there is a question, two plus two, there is five. The synergy impact. Then, appraisal method.
appraisal method application it also influences upon performance appraisal so these things are very technical in nature just i am telling very theoretically actually not so like some sort of prominent journalist say for mark tally so many journalists are there they are gossiping gathering for collecting and procuring information of a certain political issues about several hours they are passing but mark tally came for 10 minutes and then he left the situation and the best authentic news he delivered because one thing is this i like to say for the decision maker to some extent to utilize fifth sense simply be not basing upon material facts and situation analyzing other than these components something different techniques or a specialization that excellent decision maker is having that's the thing there is a question this is the right approach for better sustaining excellent way of developing his or her organization or institutional practices as per decision then the next point we like to discuss about the suggestions for improving performance appraisal performance evaluation faces so many problems that may decline the quality of the report in that case development of appraisal is very much important number one so for we are searching a certain type of information from a group of personnel or junior level executives in that case first better is to send the questions to them so that they will be mentally prepared with information and logistics and when the press will ask raise the question to them further then they can answer the question very authentically that is the thing so it's a, it's, a, it's a nice preparation earlier basing upon their preparation the most authentic information that we have to gather and collect and procure then the chain appraisal before this the pastors those who are engaged in appraising the performance then obviously this people should be trained up earlier because this is very sensitive and practical in nature for a mere fault as say for in our academic institution Mr. Ubaidul and Abdul very much engaged here regarding gardening for a mere fault or for over manuring I show him show him that this man is very much yeah he did long he take care of garden if manuring over manuring then that will be quite problematic for the trees also we need manure we need water but if it's over watering over manuring then the trees will be burnt 
So, actual assessment is there. How much water you get within a day? In the same way. In terms of making decision, in terms of performance evaluation, in terms of when the workers and employees are working in a factory, their day-to-day performance should be evaluated. If there is any problem identified, that should be rectified. And two fact findings is not the so easy manner. It's a scientific in nature, social in nature. It has the economical value, psychological value, impact. We need to understand all these things. Then, avoid bias feeling. Yes, the past of those who are engaged in procuring, gathering and appraising project, appraising project or performance of individual one or of a certain group of people or the employees, they positively worry need no biasness. Bias information is always disastrous and dangerous. For a mere deviation, that can create disaster for the organization itself also. So the organization may collapse entirely. Then, development of communication system. Development of communication system is nowadays is very important thing. If we were to get or to gather the right information, messages, facts and documents, we should have, nowadays virtual contacting is becoming much more easier so that people can get very easily information, facts from the different parts of the world in the easiest manner and quickest manner. Then it should, in this point, technology can be used. Subsequent technology can be used. Then, applying ongoing feedback. Feedback is the important thing. For the information messages we are procuring, at the same time we are developing a report, and basing upon that report, when the organization is working, then performance need to be evaluated and the evaluation report is to further it should be given to the workers and employees of the organization or those who are concerned and connected to this appraising. And there is very much rectification, nice rectification approach in the organization point of view. To evaluate many times, yes, time to time evaluation should be continued approach. If evaluation time to time maintained, then the rectification and the nice job will be performed. So, this evaluation program should be in the right track. Then, to reward success appraiser, the appraiser, those who are doing a very nice job. They are reporting their procurement system of facts, documents, materials, information from the different sources, different locations. And accordingly, basing upon these facts, documents, and their sense of testing the facts, documents, and knowledges, this all would be very much effective for decision making, and the organization will be beneficiary, benefited in this point. In that point, the appraiser should be rewarded and that will stimulate him further and he will do far better than again and again. Then use written standard. The written standard is the right approach. When the decision is in the written form, when the requirements of caution is in the written form, when the facts, documents, materials are procured and collected as per the written order, then things written. Not only for today, but the day after today, when it will be needed and when the dispute will occur, then this written format can be shown. Yes, as per this decision, as per this way, we did these things, we procured, we collected, we analyzed this way. So, no problem. So, so thank you very much, students. Now, Holi Ajan is going on. And the next day, we will start for the next question the problems and performance of appraisal in Bangladesh. Very important thing in the next as we will discuss and go through.
Okay, thank you very much. Keep inside your yourself in the house. Don't go outside. And take necessary learning at the same time. I'm again and again telling. Try to learn English. Be fluent enough in English. And side by side, develop your Chinese or Japanese language expertise for your future job. Okay, thank you very much. Good luck.